So, hi all, so we're just here with a group of heifers um, from a farm that we sell from every year. So I suppose what we find interesting here that they do on this farm is these animals were all weighed um, as they were housed. So they were weighed on the 15th of um, November and they were 226 kilos. So then what the farmer does is each animal is, is individually, after the weighing, they're batched into the groups accordingly. So you have the lightest heifers here, which are on three kilos of concentrate, to the strongest heifers here, which are on one kilo, and in the group in the middle then, they're on two kilos. So I suppose the target here is to get all the animals up to weight pre-breeding. Um, so they're weighed again then just before Christmas, and the farmer will sit down, go through the weights, and batch the animals accordingly again then at that stage and see which animals have changed and put them into the, the grouping accordingly. I suppose the big benefit I see it as well is that each group is within their own peers. So the lighter heifers here have plenty of feed space and they're only competing with animals of the same weight and so on. Then with the, 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 the stronger group, I suppose, here at the end as well, it is just stronger heifers here that are competing with the stronger heifers. Um, and as I said, they'll be weighed then again coming up to Christmas time and batched accordingly. Um, I suppose the big benefit that they're seeing is the conception rates as, as heifers then are very, very good. And as they leave the shed, then you have a uniform group of animals. So like you're, you're looking at animals that would have been born from the start of February onto the middle of March. So I suppose those, that month and a half then, um, that animal has gained on the, the older animals. Um, the other benefit then you're seeing as well is, I suppose at that smaller size, you're getting a better response from the inputs you're putting into the animals. So once these animals go out to the shed, I think for the last five years, these animals haven't got any meal um, when they have gone, once they've left the shed until they go into the parlour, which is the time you want the animals to be at their best, I suppose, and, and as first calvers, then get them back in calf again. So maybe just something for farmers to think about that at this stage, you do get the best response and um, to have them going out uh, pre-breeding in as good a condition as you can. So as you can see here, this is the Uvin calf heifers and the cow. So again, on this farm, um, the shed space isn't there to keep the in calf heifers and the cow separate. So when they come in fr from the land, they're all mixed in together. So as you can see here, anything with a collar is a, is a cow afternoon lactation. And you have two heifers here, which are well up in weight, and they're able to compete with the cows at this stage, which again helps them after calving down again. They're not going to be mixed at that stage, that they're already being mixed in. So we'll say a first calver isn't mixing with the cows and maybe getting bullied at that stage. So again, they're being mixed in beforehand, um, which is a help to those heifers again, to give them every chance to, the ultimate goal, I suppose, to get them back in calf for the following season.